This dish is authentic Mexican cuisine at its best. It all starts with this amazing mole sauce. Oh, and then that mole sauce elevates the chicken to unbelievable heights. Oh, talk about pollo con mole. <laughs> Trust us, every bite is a trip down Mexican heritage lane. <laughs> Holy mole. Oh, it's so good. I am so excited. I've never been so excited to make a dish. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My hungry amigo, Lou. I can't wait to go down that heritage Mexican lane. I know, lane. it just came <laughs> out of my mouth. I'm so, I'm, we're going to say so many things that are probably like, that's in a, not appropriate. Whatever. We are making a Mexican dish. In case you didn't notice, neither Wesley and I are Mexican. So we're going to do our best. But we, have but we some, love the Mexican people. We love people Mexican people. And their we love heritage. the culture, their yes. food. I could just oh. eat it every minute of every day and yes. almost do. Yeah. So we're going to give it our best shot. And we think we've been working on it for a long time. We've pulled in a lot of our good friends and yes. we've studied chefs and all. And we've got a dear friend. Um, her Isabel. name is Isabel. And she is Mexican. Um, she is through and through Mexican. And she's a she dear, gave, dear she friend. She coached us. She gave she us coached some coaching. Us. Her mother, who still lives in Mexico, is a. An, they're all, they're both amazing cooks, and um, uh, mole, so, chicken mole is their favorite thing to make. So, so sh we hope we're doing them proud. We're going to do it back. We're yes. going to give it our best shot, and th let us show you how we do it. Okay. All right. So it all started, there's that, layers and layers. I just That wanna, mole wanna, sauce. It's mo hole mole. <laughs> so it's, the, the thing about this is it needs to be balanced. So there's a lot of components into a mole sauce. You don't really want any one to overpower the other one. And I've had moles before where that's the case. You've got too much chocolate, you've got too much yeah. this, you've got Sweet. Too so young. this is, we think we've kind of come up with a way to do that. But the, one of the most important parts of the mole is a, is a pepper oh. base. Whoa. So we've got our dried peppers here that we're going to start off with. Three of them. Look at all these. We've got the guajillo pepper here, the guajillo chili. We've got the ancho, which is, is that a poblano? It's, yeah, they're dried poblano, so okay. they're milder. And then the marita. A marita. A marita is, uh, is a very... Um, it's a uh, jalapeno, but it's a very specific type of jalapeno. And it's when it's not dried, it's super red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's a lot. It's, it, anyway, so you can it's also... It's a special see, jalapeno. I was going to show you, it, and it has a good amount of punch to it. It's, yes. it's, like, it's like a chipotle. Yeah, actually, um, when, when uh, Chris de-seeded them earlier, and they... <laughs> There's so many seeds in, yeah. inside, inside the morito. Speaking of uh, morito, so speaking of which, uh, the way you're going to de-seed that, just get some scissors, cut the tops off, and then there's some dried seeds in there. Um, just, you know, use your fingers to help them get them out. And you'll see all those seeds in the morito. Didn't you do a morito? A morito. Yes. And I also do the guajillo. And the guajillo, you may have to tear open a little bit to get those seeds out. And it's okay if you don't get every seed. Yeah. You want to leave some of those seeds behind because they add a ton of flavor. So yeah. now what we're going to do is we're going to Enough add... Enough about the marita. Uh, we're going to add <laughs> we're going to add them into a heat proof bowl and I've got now if I can do this without creating a catastrophe. Oh yeah, I'm going to have this small ready miracle. just in case. So you're going to want to put uh, boiling water over this. <laughs> Oops. Just, <laughs> just add, be careful though. It is boiling water. Yes. So if you have kids nearby and you're as clumsy as I am, just be careful. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to see that you're going to want to submerge that. So I just get a plate right here and just place it in there. And uh, what that does is it just reconstitutes those peppers. It gets them nice and soft that, so we can make a beautiful uh, sauce out of them and that's going to sit in that hot water for 30 minutes. Now, like I said, there are a lot of components. There are many, many components to, uh, to mole. Many. One of them is a, a really charred tortilla. Some people use bread, they get it really charred. I love the taste of yellow corn tortilla. So we've got our grill fired up out there and we're going to go char this baby and you'll see more on that in just a moment. <laughs> Okay, All moving right. right along. These already are smelling great. Yes. So let me just talk about my fun little uh, tortilla here. Look how poor and pathetic it looks, but that's good. <laughs> that's what we want. So we took it out to the grill, cranked the grill nice and high. I just placed it on there, let it go for about eight minutes, and here you go. We're going to show you what we're going to do with this a little yes. later. And then Let's we, talk. Well, let me tell you how, what we, before you start yeah, taking yeah, over. Yeah. We with, So now, we after they sat in that hot, the pepper sat in the hot water for 30 minutes, then I just maneuvered that plate out of the, it's by that point, the water's not that hot anymore. No. Mm -hmm. And then you want to save the juice that those peppers have been soaking in. So we just get a nice big heat proof bowl, because it is still kind of hot, and a colander. And then you just transfer it into there, and you've got those beautiful peppers. Yeah. And you got the juice down below. Yeah, now I'm going to throw them in my blender. Now, how many, we forgot to tell you how many of these were. <laughs> so, we, I, what I'd like to say on these is you can use any, what I've seen is that people use a different, 
um, kinds of dried peppers. We're using ancho, guajillo, and um, mortilla. Morita. Morita, sorry. Um, but some people use, our, like our friend um, Isabel uses our bowl. These definitely have some heat to them, so you know, be careful if don't you want to use maybe one or two. Um, but there's pasilla peppers. But we, now you're going to puree those, right? Yes, I'm okay. going to puree these guys. All right. Just give it a good down home pump. Yeah, and, yeah. So while he's doing that, hold it, on, it, I gotta get it gets a little thing clogged. Yeah. So we used. Let me go. If I go back, if I can remember, we used. And this is all just. You're gonna want to use around the same amount of quantity. So we did about eight. We did eight anchos. We did six guajillo, and we did two of the morita. Oh, That's those all right. guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to add a little. Okay, so now yeah. here's our beautiful uh, liquid in here. So yeah. we're gonna, that just kind of gets it going. Totally, a little half a cup. You, you're gonna probably end up, you don't want this to get watery at all. You want it to get to be sort of paste-like, um, not like like super paste-like, but not watery. Yeah, I'm so nervous. Don't, don't be nervous, this. don't be nervous. All don't right, be nervous. then I've got a, t a teaspoon of Mexican oregano and then a half a teaspoon of uh, cloves that have been ground. Mm, I'm telling you, layers and layers of it's flavor. It's crazy. If you don't have Mexican oregano, just regular regular right. oregano Let will work. Let me get work. this thing going. Oops, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I got the power to it. There it goes. Just, it's kind of like a daiquiri. You just kind of have to stay with it. It'll, it'll eventually get there. Um, it's, it's going, it's going. Okay, yeah, there, there you go. go. Now you can add a little more liquid to it. There. All Sometimes right. those those uh, guajillo peppers a get... Cup, you think? Yeah, yeah. Right. You want to get it. Um, that, that's going to help loosen things up. All right, there we go. Throw that in there. And some people loosen we've that seen up. Do, the, do this in different order. This order worked for us. There you go. That's looking beautiful. I got something in there that just doesn't want to. There we go. There you go. Okay, ch just check it and see. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's a paste is what it is. Well, no, it, it's sort of like a paste. It's, you don't want it it's like so thick that what we're going to do now is we are going to pass this through the sieve. Wow. Because it's gonna, that's going to leave behind all of the skins, and we don't want that skin. That's we want pretty. To really, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's transfer that over here. All right. We did that without spraying I know. peppers <laughs> everywhere, which is a good thing. <laughs> oh, wow, look so at good. that. Ooh. That is beautiful. Now, when you dump that in there, you may think, okay, that's not going through that sieve at all. Well, that's you don't want it to. You're going to force it through. Yeah. That's good. All right. That's perfect. All right. Okay. So now we're going to <laughs> we're going to try to keep this under an hour. So now we're going to just start pressing this against the bottom of that sieve, and it always takes a little while because it wants to get stuck, you know, at the bottom of here, and there then you see go. it coming through there. Yeah. That beautiful, beautiful uh, pepper color. I just love it. It's just, it's just mm. fabulous, and the smell is amazing. So this takes um, a little bit of work. You may think this is not going to work, but just keep at it, and it, it will eventually work. Okay, now we're really starting Yay. to have a lot of fun. Look at that, it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at these peppers. So that, it's gonna yield after you do all of that, you scrape the bottom of that sieve, you're gonna <laughs> get anywhere, out. it's a little bit of a workout, but you're gonna get anywhere from an hour, uh, an hour, uh, a cup to a cup and a quarter, and that's exactly what you need. Totally. And that gives, while he was doing that, that gave me time to rinse out my blender, because we're gonna <laughs> utilize that again. Yes. So now I've got my uh, big old cast iron skillet. You want a nice large yes. skillet? I've just got two tablespoons. You can either use oil or butter. I'm going with butter. You want a thin butter? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm all the clamped. <laughs> I sometimes use butter, I sometimes use oil. I'm using vegetable oil. Now, we, this is really, really fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this beautiful little, I'm just gonna kinda. This is amazing. This is such a great, it's an amazing technique. You yes. Just, this is where I talked about everything is in just little, little pieces, and little bits, and you don't want anything to overpower the other. So we're gonna lightly fry this. I'm just gonna do, that's a, like a slice of an onion that I put in there. And I just kinda chopped it up a little bit, and then I've got, Three, I've got two, three cloves and a little one. And we're just gonna put that in there and we're gonna let these just kind of lightly fry in a total of eight minutes. After four minutes, we're gonna come back and we're gonna add a bunch of other really fun stuff that is awesome. Okay, now we're moving on to my favorite part of this whole thing. We're gonna add these beautiful, beautiful flavorings. So um, very common are nuts. And um, almonds are very common. These right here are pecans, chopped pecans. Isabel told me, I think it was her mother that says, just use like a, a small fistful of the nuts. I was like, well, I'm gonna try and be a little more specific than that. So that's about a tablespoon of, that's pecans, that is almonds. Almonds is very common. Um, I've seen walnuts being used, that's great. So then it's we're going- It's just crazy all these, I know. sorry. Then we've got, no, it's, it's fabulous. And then we've got a teaspoon of anise seed. Um, and then we're gonna do just a, a little bit of, these are all spice, all spice. berries. 
Um, these are so good. Ah. Now, and we're gonna do some black peppercorns. That's like a, a quarter teaspoon of that. Now we've got raisins, you know, because we're gonna add a little sweetness. Wow. I've got two tablespoons, and these are gonna start to get nice and plump and delicious. I've got a cinnamon stick, um, a whole cinnamon stick, and then one of my favorite things is we're gonna put some banana in here. It, isn't that I, great? If you can, um, look up the history of mole. It's pretty yeah. amazing. It really it's is. It's been around. I mean, it is. It's an ancient, I would say. It is. An it's, ancient dish. I, it's one of those things. I know. I'm so glad you brought that up because I just love cuisines that come from nationalities and, and places where they're just so steeped in history and, mm -hmm. and, and there's so many different types of moles and, and different families have made them. It's just, it's so, so traditional and so, it just makes me wonder, how did this get developed? And it's, I it's know. fascinating. Years from now, people are gonna be talking about Chris and Wesley's mole. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> what were they thinking? No, it, anyway, so we're gonna let this go and this is just gonna bring out those flavors. For like and four minutes? Another four minutes. You yeah. just wanted to kind of, it's my skin. It is so wacky, um, but anyway, you'll know when you smell that aroma. And, oh, and it's your already, onion, yeah. I know it's it's, it's mm. start the onions start to brown a little bit. You're not stir frying; you're just bringing out that flavor. Mm. Oh, the smell! So this is great. So it's we're gonna amazing. It's incredible. So we are gonna use everything except we're gonna the cinnamon stick. We're gonna take that out and um, <laughs> it's sticking to. It doesn't want to come out. It's like I want to stay with everyone. Okay, now we're just gonna add this to the blender. Wow. If you get some of that oil in there, it's okay. Um, oh my gosh, this is gonna melt. I know, it's so, I don't wanna miss any of it. It's just so fantastic. I remember the- I mean, I, I can't even, it's not even like in my uh, thought process to throw, to put all that stuff- I know. Into a mole. And there are some people put, I know Isabel puts cumin, I think she puts cumin seeds. Um, there, there's a, you name it. I mean, I, I think they've tested every possible ingredient. <laughs> we've so, done a couple too. We've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> we're like, oh, okay. That's interesting, okay. <laughs> so now I'm gonna turn this off and we're back to the blender. Yes, I, back to me. <laughs> back to the wet loon and the power All tools. right, so I'm just gonna blend this a little bit just to get a, a good rough chop. Oh, yeah. there we go. And it's not gonna uh, pulverize it. You're just getting the start. You're just yes. getting the party started. I'm gonna do this. And then, oh, uh, and you oh. smell that. It's something about wow. after it's been toasted like that, wow. and then you do that, it just releases even more of those smells. All okay, right. do that I'll one do more time. time. And get this good. There you go, that's All good, right. that's good. That's just to kind of get the party started. Yes, and now I've got some chicken stock. That's a cup, isn't it? It Chris? is, right. it is. All right, I don't wanna spill splatter. You're good. <laughs> well, you know, so I'm just very dainty. Okay. <laughs> and now it's time for this. It's oh, we throw that in now? Yeah, Wait, hold on. Go. Oh, okay. I'm going to okay. do one more. Oh, well. <laughs> it's I'm not gonna, time for yeah, this. Yeah, no, it's not. I'm going to puree this a little more. Okay. So now we're going to let that, he's, you could have put that in there now or you could have waited, but we're going to let that. I want to wait. You wanted to wait, so we're going to wait. <laughs> There's no problem. So we're going to let that go for about a minute until it's really nice and smooth and not real lumpy. Oh, that is Look beautiful. Look at that. That's great. All right. So you turn that, now while wow. you're doing that, I'm gonna get going on over here. So if you have a whole lot of ex, excess oil over here, you may wanna go ahead and drain that out because we're gonna move back to the skillet here very shortly. And I'm just using a paper towel to get out excess <laughs> um, things that were in there. Okay. Y'all, I really wish you could smell, smell that. All right, amazing. so here comes the tortilla. Now is the tortilla. We're gonna, I'm, so I'll just break it up yeah. before I throw I'm it I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of olive oil here and turn up my skillet to medium, medium That's high. Very crunchy. It's very crunchy. And then I've got, um, how much, how many tomatoes do I have here? Oh, that's about a half a cup of okay. whole tomatoes. Okay. You don't need to chop them, just do half a cup there of whole we tomatoes. Go. There we go. I've seen some people do like roasted salsa in there, but tomatoes wow. work beautifully. I love this. And now I'm just gonna give this some final pureeing. Oh, that is awesome. Wow. Now, while he's doing that, I'm gonna transfer our beautiful pepper mixture into this skillet. Um, Get every wow. last drop of it. And we are just gonna saute this a little bit until it starts to darken a little bit more. Um, not a whole lot. I don't wow. wanna miss any of it. I know, get it all in there. It's, it is, this stuff is like incredible. And you see it just cooked. I've got this skillet pretty cranked. Um, but we're gonna let it go for about a minute to two minutes and then we're gonna add that. Okay, oh my God, this, it just smells, <laughs> just keeps getting better and wow. better. All right, I've got this. Do we, are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. We're just going to now slowly incorporate that in. Wow. And, uh, oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Tell me when. Just do just it all. Just keep on going. Just keep on going. Um, 
you, you may when you first put this in, I like the first few times I did it, I thought, I thought okay, it we, like milk chocolate. we've completely changed the color. <laughs> but those peppers will give it that gorgeous, wow. gorgeous mole color. And as this simmers, oh, and it's wow. going to simmer for a little while, it's going to continue just to darken in color. Wow. And, um, and you can see it changing already. Yeah, yeah, as it fully gets incorporated. It's so beautiful, and it's just so, I don't know, you just, I, every time I do it, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm, there's, <laughs> I'm in awe of it. I yeah, really am. Totally. I, I get a little freaked out by that. Or no, um, geek, it, geek out of that yes, kind of stuff. Yes, you do. Here. But anyway, okay. And so now we're going to add a tablespoon of dark brown sugar and a teaspoon and a half of salt. And just keep on stirring. So now, I'm going to turn this down. We've got one last ingredient that we're going to add to this sauce that you probably all heard of. <laughs> and you may think, that's so weird. But it's just... It adds a depth of flavor that's amazing. It is some chocolate. Some chocolate. All right, we've got some Mexican chocolate here. Use Mexican because actually it's just, that's what you got to do. <laughs> well, you, we can use um, uh, uh, Ibarra, I believe it is, I-B-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A, and then, here, let me, ooh, that's a big one. I'll just let that Okay. <laughs> so you can find you like you can find Mexican chocolate um, in the grocery store. I mean, really, like it, just your standard supermarket. You find it typically in the hot chocolate section. Um, they come in discs, <laughs> and um, but or there's you can, abuelita or yeah. ibarra. Yeah, yeah, those are very very common. Or you can I've got a link um, if you can order some really really nice Mexican um, chocolate online. And um, so now you want to keep it the the consistency of not a not real real thin but it's gonna it's amazing how this cooks it's it's gonna want to thicken up and you're gonna have to stay with it um, but you're not gonna want to leave it because it's so beautiful and we're gonna just let this continue to simmer for an hour on an hour an hour but that's not that long it, it comes no, and goes very quickly it's a lot quicker than uh, roux for gumbo that's, that's sure. true <laughs> and, it, and it's a perfect amount of time for you to do the dishes <laughs> oh Wow. I mean, that is just, look at that. That's amazing. I just feel like we're looking at something that is just, it's been here for generations. Oh, and it's wow. just All right, I'm going to turn this heat off. So I, you just see, you want to keep the consistency where it's just the term that I think is just velvety. It's, you know, oh. if it starts to get too thick and too <laughs> clumpy, then you, do, you know, as long as you get those kind of sounds, <laughs> then you're good. Um, but I just keep adding a little bit of, um, chicken stock and I probably over the course of an hour I probably added anywhere but probably three cups but um, you may find that you need to add up uh, as much as four cups and you see it, it's gonna darken somewhat I'm gonna set that right there uh, and no then Wipe it that also, up. yeah it also depends sometimes you see mole that's super dark and that a lot of times has to do with the type of chilies that you choose um, and now we're long, doing a taste test we, do, we got to do a little taste test hold on I'd say that's um, definitely Luna approved. Wow. We're not done. Okay, <laughs> so now we are gonna transfer this. It, now there's so many uses for that's this. A, it's it's ah, mind blowing. Yeah. So we're gonna trans transfer this to a beautiful bowl, clean this up, and then we are gonna make mole chicken. Yes! Okay, so let's make pollo con mole. Let's do it. Look at this. We put it, put that mole in this wonderful little bowl, oh, so and I just great. want to spoon this up right I now. I know you could eat that. And we got our chicken here. And so you can make that that way in advance, and then use it on so many dishes. Yes. So okay, we've cleaned out our a nice big old cast iron skillet. We've got it cranked up over medium high heat. We've, we've got, got three legs and three. Uh, Chicken thighs, thighs and thighs. we salt and peppered them. And they're bone in, skin on. There you and go. Uh, that is the best way to do this. So we're going to put yes. these in, um, skin down, and we're going to let these go until, yeah, we want to hear that sizzle. Mm -hmm. um, let them go until the skin gets really nice and crispy. Crispy, yeah. And um, th that only takes about, oh, anywhere from five to six minutes. Then we flip them over and let them go for a little longer, and then we bake them with that mole. And, then we're in heaven. <laughs> okay, moving right along. So we've got this beautiful uh, chicken. We let it go for about five to six minutes until it was nice and gold and crispy on the bottom side. And then flip it over and just let it go for another minute. Beautiful and, chicken. Uh, beautiful beautiful chicken. chicken, beautiful chicken. Now we're not cooking it all the way through. We're going to finish it off in the oven. Uh, but I want to, there's still flavor here. So I want to get rid of the, the excess oil and some of the grease that was rendered from the chicken. So I just 
got some, you know, hot in my mittens and I just drain that grease off. But you don't want to get rid of that stuff because now we've got a, uh, this is three quarters a cup of chicken stock, good old chicken stock that we've been using throughout. And I'm just going to use the back mm -hmm. of my wooden spatula to get all to up scrape those. Scrape the good those, bits. Get the good bits. And, <laughs> oh, they're so good. And so now we're going to bring this to a simmer, wow. which won't take long. It's already doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's already doing it's it. It's getting so, it's so ready. And, now, I, and I got two cups of um, mole that oh, I the took mole. out of here. Yes, he, yeah. he added two. So we want to add two cups of mole to this. Isn't, oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now we're going to thin, <laughs> just, or we're not going to thin it, but we're just going to stir that around until it's nicely mm. incorporated. And then we're going to bake this. And with we're the gonna chicken. We're going to bake it with the chicken. With the chicken. And as it bakes, it's going to do its thing and it's just going to continue to thicken. And if you want to start nestling those. I'm, I'm a good on, nestler. I know you are. You nestled better than anyone. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. So just, yeah. Mm. Skin mm. side up, crispy side up. Yes. I'm going to put these, I'm going to put these in here strategically and then I'm going to put the. <laughs> The, the legs around. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. Strategically. So, oh, you can do the, you can, it, you, whatever size uh, vessel you have, we've done as many as I think four legs and four thighs, and um, you just have to cook. They cook down um, in batches. I mean, they cook down as you s sear them. I can't speak. I'm just so excited. <laughs> look, I mean, look at this. So now what we're doing? You can't do two things twice. Well, not when I'm doing time. this, because this is. Uh, wow. So you're gonna just yeah, coat just get it, it drench it. Yeah, and uh, it's gonna bake into that flavor. Is uh, gonna bake into it. That the mole with the chicken, y'all, is just. It's. 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 It's, it's something that you never. Um, you don't taste quite often. There you go. You don't. I was funny. I was talking to my mom and dad about it just just recently, and they were saying, you know, in, we live all live in Texas, and even in Texas Tex-Mex restaurants, you don't see molo a molo mole on the menus that much. <laughs> um, but man, once you make it at home, you're going to be so yes. happy. All right, we're going to stick this in the oven for just 35 minutes. If it starts to get too dark on the top, then you can put a layer of foil on top. Okay, let's do it. Oh. oh. It smells so good it's in here. I, I have not been this excited <laughs> to eat since. Wow. Oh my gosh. Since lunch. Holy. <laughs> Holy wow. Mole. Holy mole for Holy sure. Holy pollo con mole. That is <gasps> beautiful. Oh. oh and it's boiling. Yeah. Of it's, course. So get ready. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Say that again. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That is oh. just a. I tell you what, Mexican cuisine uh, is, there's a reason uh, it's like the most popular in the world, I think. Um, it's just gorgeous. Okay. Now, believable. So oh. this is a traditionally served with a Mexican rice, served on the rice, so yeah. on the side. So I went ahead and made up a batch of our good old delicious Mexican rice. And uh, we played it, and we love to serve it with some tortillas. Now, I'm going to try and do this without making a mess. We're going <laughs> to look. I know. Nice little pool of that. Yes. Um, wow. Look at that. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. All right. Now okay. let's throw some Now let's get a little chicken, chicken on there. there. I'm going to give you a, a chicken thigh first. Beautiful. That's all I need. That's all you want. That's all okay. I want. Okay. Now and then you got to sesame seeds. That's the that's the traditional way to t top this. Unbelievable. Isn't that just beautiful? That is gorgeous. Oh, just do it all over. Okay, there. I'll do it all. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I am so excited. We got my tortilla there, just I in case I want to yes. shred my chicken. I love to shred the chicken, and this is great to be served as. Um, you know, like there's so much you can do with it. You can make enchiladas, I but you can. That right there, so people can oh, see. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, give, I'm t imparting incredibly important knowledge. <laughs> and so, uh, you, but you, oh, I was saying you can. I like he said, shred it. I love to shred it and then put it in the tortilla. That's one of my favorites. <sighs> You could let this sit for a little bit, and then um, you know it's going to thicken a little bit. You know, but we were too excited to eat, and the, there you're going to have a little bit of the grease from the, the chicken that's going to render a little bit. That's no big deal. But you can no big deal. Okay, want. I am going to cut into this, y'all, and I it's can't. not going to be pretty. Yeah, I'm just that's telling okay. you now. All right, here, let's. Ooh, wow, Chris, that chicken it's is so tender, tender, so moist. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's piping hot, so you're going to have to blow on it. Want the folks watching to just look at this wonderful. Wow. 
Yeah, it is piping hot. So blow on it. I will. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just trying to get my, I want everybody to see all the wonderfulness of oh. this. That sauce, I can hardly wait to dig into this sauce. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm just sopping, just sopping. Just get soppy with it. I am, okay. Is it going in? Hold on, I gotta blow on it. Died and gone to heaven. You got all of your That's good, that means it's good. <laughs> Adios, <laughs> nothing else to say. <laughs> Y'all, it is. Uh, There's nothing I, like it. it. Uh, There's nothing like it. I have to tell you, so the other, real quick, we're, we're, this has probably gone on for oh. an hour and a half, but we made this and our friend Isabel, we had to, we've been playing with it and so, we said, we think we got it. You got to come over and visit. <laughs> so she walked in the door and she said, and she immediately, her eyes lit up and she smelled and, she, and we had made and she said, it smells like Mexican, a Mexican a kitchen. A kitchen, yes. like Mexican <laughs> people have been smoking, have been smoking, have been cooking in here. And I said, no, it's just us. And then she tried it and she said, you two could not have made this. It was too good. And so you taught us everything we know. So you guys, this is, oh, well, I, I'm, I'm, just getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> it's mind blowing. We get the dance. That is 100 million thousand percent. <laughs> That's the best ever. Loon approved, y'all. That's the best we've ever had. The depth of flavor in that is like, I'm, something something that's just like you need to write home about if yeah. you're away. I'm literally getting my notepad out <laughs> as soon as we're done. It is. I mean, and I had molo, molo, I can say molo, mole before, and I was like, this, I don't like this. It's so good. You guys, it's you so have, good. It's fun to make. Oh. It's 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 so good. So have we convinced you? We love you so much. Make, make it, some mole with your hands. Your whole, <laughs> oh, your whole family. Like family. Yeah, bring your family over. <laughs> All right, we love you, everybody. We love you, Isabel. Bye. Bye. <laughs>